we're always hearing stories about foods created in a lab, engineered vaccines and things, and it's all using splicing of DNA from different species and inserting a gene here and turning this off there. And it's just so unnatural. It's not what was intended when it was created, right? It's not supposed to be mixed like that. There's a failsafe in it itself where I can't go out and breed with a worm. It just doesn't work, you know, so you shouldn't have genes from worms inserted into me. There's a reason it was separated. So, but this is not a story like that. So that one tree that was in those previous three pictures is was created using chip grafting, which I've heard of a while back and then forgot about. And then when I was I looked up chip grafting when I was reading this article, and it was it's basically just cutting at angles like branches from different trees. So you take a branch of a mature nectarine tree and graft it onto a peach tree. You know, you, you put the two pieces of of branch together. They fit together because you cut them both in angles, tape it up, and it'll grow together. And now you have a nectarine arm growing on a peach tree. And you keep doing that and doing that and doing that. And um, Sam Van Aken here has done that. So he's created 40 different types of stone fruit all on this one tree. So this is one of those where you're going to want to click the link and watch the embedded video that they have in the article. And it really explains it. You know, they go to the orchard and he shows what he does. And it's really, it really completes the picture of the story here. So I'll put that below. Uh, go click, go watch. And thank you for watching this.